Hi. In this sprint, we have worked on adding the ability to override the application port when um, creating the initial dev file non-interactively. So using audio init and specifying all the you know, all the flags, because this is something that we already support in the interactive mode, um, and we already demoed that in in the past. Um, so. The main use case for this is to support the port detection feature in the ID extensions. So the workflow is basically first to run audio analyze to detect yeah, a lot of things about the, the project, the project source code, so the defined name and eventually the application ports that have been detected using um, the ELIZA library. And then based on that information, the extension can run audio in it and specify yeah, the ports and the dev file and the, the application ports that have been returned by audio analyze. Um, so let's quickly see that in action. So here I have an application and um, let's say that I've changed the, the port yeah, to 8765. Let's quickly check that audio analyze returns the right information. So we have information about the port here. So let's say that I don't have any dev file and now I want to initialize a dev file here. Um, so let me just remove this. So let's say that I, yeah, so I specify the application port, so the run port here. And based on that, we get the run command and from the run command, we can determine the container component um, and then override the, the endpoint in this component. Um, so if I run this, so my dev file is created non-interactively. And if I take a look at the dev file, we can see that we have the information about the endpoint that have been overwritten by what I've specified. So that's it for this demo. Thank you.